hello beautiful people welcome back to the Canada info channel it's been a while i came here i need to hide my face but i'm not gonna hide my face i am struggling i have to confess that i am struggling to be consistent on youtube yes i am struggling to be consistent on youtube and it is not that i don't want to be consistent it's just that a lot of circumstances around being consistent has not been organized in my life <laughs> um so it has to do with a lot of things which i'm going to reveal later number one i've not been able to get daycare for my baby yes i've not been able to get a daycare for her number two like i said i am not in my I'm, I'm supposed to be somewhere in another province but i am still in manitoba for now so i am still in between i'm still like in a transition phase kind of so that those are the reasons and then other issues are also coming up at the same time which i'm trying to you know sort a lot of things at the same time so please bear with me if i'm not consistent forgive me oh. <laughs> forgive me for not being consistent anyway so today's video it's not a video about myself, but I've talked about myself a little bit. I told you I'm a bit disorganized, right? This year, or for now, I am still a bit disorganized. I've not been able to organize a lot of things. So that being said, today's video, you've seen the topic, is about New Brunswick. If you don't know, New Brunswick is one of the provinces you can actually easily get a provincial nomination from, despite your low comprehensive ranking scores. The reason why I say it is one of the provinces you can easily get a provincial nomination from is because they go out to look for the people they want, which means if you if your occupation is actually in demand and they announce a recruitment event or an online virtual session, there is a possibility of getting an invitation to apply from New Brunswick in your express entry profile. There's a possibility to get a provincial nomination from New Brunswick. So I will be putting the details on the screen and I'm encouraging you to please go ahead and be immigration ready to apply for these opportunities that are coming up. There's opportunity for nursing if you know any nurse. If you know that this information is not going to benefit you but you know somebody that it will benefit, please let the person know. And there's also something I need to talk about. Some people think that ILTS is something you can just skip. No, you can't skip ILTS when it comes to Canada immigration, except you're coming as a refugee or you're coming as a somebody that has been sponsored under the spousal sponsorship or child sponsorship or something like that. So these are the two scenarios where you can skip ILTS. Every other scenario, you cannot skip ILTS. You have to take ILTS. You have to evaluate your credentials. Even those who school, schooled in Canada, they are also taking ILTS as well. So that being said, please jump on this opportunity. You will see the details on the screen. It's just for you to sign up. If you have an express entry profile, go ahead and sign up. Once you sign up, um, expect an invitation. Unfortunately, they are going to francophone countries in Africa. Yes, they are going to Morocco. They are going to Cote d'Ivoire. It's sad that Cote d'Ivoire, we, we lost our match yesterday with Cote d'Ivoire. Anyway, they are going to Côte d'Ivoire, they are going to Senegal. <laughs> so these are the countries they are going to. If you know any Nigerian living in Morocco, Côte d'Ivoire, Senegal, tell them that New Brunswick is coming to their country. They should be immigration ready for this opportunity. They are also going to UK, they are going to Mexico, they are going to Ireland, they are going to the Philippines. If you know that you live in these countries, just be immigration ready. When I mean immigration ready, you must have written IELTS, you must have um, evaluated your credentials, and you must have at least a profile created in the express entry. So this is the opportunity I said I was going to share today, and I want you to take um, advantage of this opportunity and don't lose out on it, especially if you intend to be in Canada in 2024. Um, thank you so much for watching, and if there are new opportunities concerning New Brunswick or any other province, I'm going to also share them on this channel so that you take advantage of them. And I hope to see you in Canada. Funny enough, I'm always indoors. <laughs> That's one other aspect of me. I, I said I was a boring person. I don't know. I've said it before and I'm saying it again. I'm a boring person. I hardly go out. Anyway, 
so that's be that's the information i said i was going to share today thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye